Hey friends! So there's a lot to discuss because I I did a no-no and I completely rearranged the entire doll room off camera! <laughs> Sorry! Um, I just kind of got on a roll one day. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I've done and then we're going to continue to update this over time. So first of all, Dollhouse Kingdom has been torn down. Now there is a bed here. <laughs> so the problem with this, first of all, my mom kept texting me about how much she hated Dollhouse Kingdom, just specifically the location of it, um, which was fun. <laughs> um, but my actual issue with it, it's not just because my mom was like, take it down. It's because the light, um, the light's here, right? And it doesn't disperse that way very much. It disperses like down and out, right? So it does hit most of the room really nicely. But when you put large structures in the middle of the room directly beneath this, and my hand disappears <laughs> um the light doesn't disperse anymore because you've blocked where it is like dispersing i don't know anyway um so that was a problem so i took it down um i'm going to do it like this now also this was a major factor as well we had a casualty the house fell one night just out of nowhere it was very loud and scary and it broke <laughs> Um, it's not gonna bother me too much because I can just pop it back on. It was a pretty clean break. There's just a couple of, like, that little piece. But I actually have that little piece right there. But, yeah, really sad. <laughs> dollhouse kingdom. Um, so the dollhouses are gonna be like this now. So the dollhouses will just go all the way across. Sorry, there's <laughs> my P.O. Box stuff. I really need to... My phone is having issues and I need to be able to film, like, over an hour of footage for that. So that's why it hasn't happened yet. Um... And then this area got totally overhauled, as you can see, <laughs> just because I've been, like, pilfering risers from this area, and I've kind of been trying to figure out how I'm going to rearrange it, and there's a whole thing going on. Um, also, I have decided, I've made an executive decision to actually leave that doll in box, because there's a regular release that I like just fine, so hopefully I can get a hold of that regular release one soon. I don't have her yet. Um, but I might end up taking her out of box later. It's just like, I don't know, I kind of, I wanted someone to go with Moana. I thought that would be fun. Um, and then I took all the villains down because that's where they were. Except these ones, but the other villains were up there. Um, so that's how that's looking. I'm going to pop Moana's box and Merida's box up higher so that I can display stuff up front, though. Because 17-inch LEs will just go that way. And I'm going to get something to block that just so that none of that... If, if God forbid, any moisture comes out of there, it will not get on the dolls. Um, and this is what the 17 inch le display is looking like after jasmine was added um this whole area needs work but um i will show you what's going on because most of these shelves are actually going to get complete overhauls because i got some new toys to play with and i'm so excited this is the cart um it's a mess right now so this is going to be like hair stuff that i would need on hand for videos and also this is my light remote um, there's other, my scissors would be in here. Just, it's a disaster right now. These are just dolls that I want to put directly on the shelves right now. And then if we move down, though, I can show you. And then these are doll stands. Eventually, they're, they won't take up that much space, and there's some overflow here. This, you gotta see. Um, oh, Ziploc bags as well, so as soon as I'm done unboxing a doll, I can just put the accessories directly in a Ziploc. Um, so if I get this out of here, I just stash this here. Um, this one broke, unfortunately, but... My mom managed to find these on Facebook Marketplace. They are these stair step risers, and these are so amazing. I'm you guys saw them in my My Little Pony collection video, or not collection video? Oh my gosh, um, the doll room update on the pony room. So I guess the pony room update. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the problem though was that the seller didn't include all of the screws for some reason. So we had to go buy screws that were the same size. I went and did that at Home Depot so I can build these now, which will be one of the time lapses in this video. Um, so a lot of these displays are going to be a lot better. There's certain ones like the Mycenes, those can't be displayed any better than they are. Like they are touching the top already. That's not, I'm not going to be able to make a difference there. But for some dolls, like Disney Fairies, for example, I might be able to, like, really make some progress with these stair steppers. And having the stair steppers for certain doll collections is actually going to clear up a lot of other risers. Like, these are already risers that I've cleared. Um, so, like, Failfix, for example, I can get all of these risers that I'm using on Failfix right now and use them somewhere else that can't use the stair step risers. And, yeah. So, that's what's going on in this general area. Monster has a disaster right now. Oh, look! My mom was here recently. She liked, like, she saw when I went to LA and wore the iHeart Fashion Abbey costume and mentioned that I didn't have that doll. 
Um, and she surprised me and brought me a new inbox. <laughs> I heard Fashion Abbey doll. Can you believe it? Um, so that was wildly unexpected. So that doll's never leaving the box. Amazing. I'm, I'm just so proud of that. I love that doll. Um, and then need to fix that display. I, I don't know if I showed y'all that. I'm, I couldn't figure out what to do with that Monster High store display. So, um, I decided to dedicate that area to like the cool collector versions of Monster High dolls. Not necessarily like these types of collector versions, but like the, the main character collector versions, you know? Um, so that's gonna be fun. Um, brats didn't change. Although I did put the dollhouse here. I did actually have the dollhouse propped up originally, but, um, it kind of blocked the display when you pop it up it like messes this area but now if i so i really want to be able to like do videos and pictures of my displays easily without having to like move stuff around and i can you know any display from any angle i can get well not any angle but from some angle i will be able to photograph the entire display see um so that's kind of that's a big goal um and then rainbow high i changed a lot since the last time you saw it a lot um, same with OMGs, actually, because I added this shelf, because this original shelf that was there was overhanging way, way, way too much, and it was causing a problem, so, um, had to get rid of it. Um, oh, here's some stair steppers in action. So this is cool, because I can actually fit four high, which is amazing, because this, this shelf is taller than the other ones. Um, and then the tweens, I can fit three, but for now I'm doing like that, because I can see more of the dolls, but... It like they display just fine like that. See, isn't that cool? I'm so excited about that. And these risers just barely fit like this, so they do kind of want to fall off. This one never got tight enough. This one's like weird, but they kind of want to fall off. <laughs> um, and then oh, I have these acrylic shelves that I will be putting on the wall up there. And then I have these new store displays. I turned on the flash so that you guys can see because they're holographic. These were given to me by someone anonymous and they did not want any information given. And I respect that. I am so, I love them so much. Um, they overhang a lot and I could just separate them, you know, but actually, if you look, Violet's hair is the cutoff. So it would just be kind of weird. Um, so I do really like this. Like it looks so good from far away, especially like, look at this. It's amazing. Um, so what I'm gonna do, it's just so there's not like unnecessary stress on that display, I'm gonna put like a shelf there and then I can put stuff on the shelf, but also protect the display. <laughs> just knocked over Avery, sorry girl. Um, and then this whole area is gonna get all shelves and that'll look cool and it will help me with the new unboxed dolls because I don't want those there. I actually want those on the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna happen. And then you can see what I'm doing here. I also kind of want to move mermaids here and I'm not really sure about my non and what I'm going to do with them. That's more review backlog. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Doll pile. Um, but that's how it's going so far. I can't wait to be able to put more new inbox dolls on an actual display. It's going to be really cool to be able to do that. Oh, and then I haven't really moved many. Oh, and that's what the dollhouses are looking like. These store displays need, oh, this is from the socks thing. It's the series two minus river. This is perfect. Um, and then this was the little advent calendar thing. I didn't end up using the advent calendar, like the perforation. So now it's just like a cool collage. Um, and then I just had to keep this art cause it's stunning. Um, but I didn't get to use these two store displays. And I think there's another store display in one of my closets actually that I'm not using. Um, so this one I really, really want to put up though, but I don't know where cause I don't really want it to be sideways necessarily. I'll figure something out. Um, but I love this. I love this area so much. It's just fun to be able to, like, come back here. And the dollhouses, as you can see, I always just stack things in them. Um, like, what are you doing here? Um, and this makes it better because even if I'm playing in here or I'm stacking things in here, it won't be visible from the other side. I mean, this actually is visible from the other side, but mostly it won't be. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then I can also, like, store stuff here, potentially here. It's pretty nice. I'm either going to do shelves or wall art there, I'm not sure. And then the only dolls I put up are these three shelves. Because I was like, wait, I need to wait until I'm filming to actually set up the dolls. But here's Costume Ball. I love them. And then the poster from that Costume Ball event. Oh, and this is the little pamphlet, but the poster, check it out. Yeah, 
so I put that in a frame. And then it's double-sided though, so I need to get another frame for another poster. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this. It looks so cool. And then that's that's the Jet Dawson crystal, that's why she's up there special. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd put the Skylar there. Or sorry, the Skylar. Skylar is her normal name. This is Sky Skylar. I had that backward. Skylar with an E is her normal name. Skylar is not her name, but it's on that box. Um, so that's another packaging error. Um, I kind of want to put that up there, but I don't know. Um, and then this area is a mess. Like, why is Jewel not wearing her shirt? I couldn't tell you. I actually do know why, but, you know, <laughs> we need to fix that. There's a lot of problems we need to fix. Um, and then here's this. We need to dress some dolls in the second outfits and then put the rest of the junior high dolls up here. And I like this a lot because it's like a series one fun display, you know? And then the cheer dolls, I'm actually going to, I'm just like telling you my plans. None of this is probably gonna happen. The cheer dolls, I'm planning to move here. Like I want them on display with the cheer display. That just makes sense. And that's what's going on here. Like the cheer dolls in box. That's why they're there. And then that's just a bag of, or a box of things that needs to move. It needs to go somewhere else. It needs to be organized actually. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> That's the state of the doll room for now. Now we are building the risers. It took this very specific size of screw that's like metric size or something. So we went to Home Depot and Lowe's and we're only able to get like, I don't know, 25 of them. So we couldn't really build that many of these, but it's fine because I'm glad that I got to build any of them and I'm going to have to order more of the screws online. But um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Oh, and I'll talk more about this later, but there were, like, different sizes in terms of, like, how deep the screws can go into the... I don't know. It's very weird. I assume, though, the seller just bought these at different times from, like, different sellers, and they're almost the same, but some are, like, slightly different heights. I don't know. All right, so these are the amount of acrylic risers that I was able to build because I had to get... Where'd they go? I had to get this, like, specific screw. Um, m4 i don't know um so i can only build a certain amount of these so i have way more still to be built um but this is what we got so i have three six nine twelve fifteen and then sixteen seventeen so that's not bad this will make huge progress though so i'm very excited about this and then it's weird because some like okay so some of these had the thing like look way further than this one's a little loose because the the hole was yeah the the holes are like different lengths it's weird i don't know but it's fine um so yeah i'm gonna clean all this up and now i get to build well I, we have to go pick up furniture because our neighbors are moving and they sold us a bunch of their furniture for cheap so um i'm getting another white shelf from them like a belly bookcase um so y'all will see that in the office slash pony room slash anime room um and then i'm gonna be spending a lot of time setting that up today so i'm excited Yay! Um, and these are going to be primarily used for the pony collection because that's kind of what my mom bought them for. But um, I was just surprised how well they're actually working for the dolls too. So I'm very happy about it. Um, actually, the next clip, I think I'll work on the OMGs because um, I needed another one for them. So now I can actually get started. I'm setting up some OMG displays and I love the OMG dolls, but it's hard to build a display with these because there's such wildly different themes and they don't really display well together. So um, it takes some trial and error. So if you see me say moving the same dolls back and forth, that's why I'm doing it. And then here I'm doing the series, like main series display, I guess. But then I also like to put the winter dolls there and I'll, I don't know how to explain why. I don't know. And then I put the swim dolls there. They're the biggest problem. I can never figure out where to put them. And then the littles. All right, so this is what the LOL area is looking like. So this shelf will be growth room for the OMGs. Brett's over there if you're wondering about the shadow. Um, so growth room for OMGs as well as space for the tots. I'm never going to collect, like, a lot of the tots, I don't think. Um, and then I need to figure out something for the top row because these dolls don't... Not all of them come with stands. Very few do, in fact. Um, but, like, it's going to be really fun to be able to collect them and be able to fill them in and not have them just go in a bin where they can't be seen so this is pretty cool um but if omg gets like way bigger and i need more space that <laughs> that will go um and then i'll probably put mermaids here i guess i kind of want to put it back on wherever i put mermaids and then i don't know let's see what's going on here um but this is a ton of room for growth on the btws which is great they're my favorites and i already have four that i haven't unboxed and there's also ivy winks who will go there and then the next series and yeah it's just gonna keep continuing there's like a spot on the floor here that's kind of also i need to vacuum again ronaldo um and then i have space for the dolls that i'm missing so i'm missing one from dance 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 one from 
neon lights. Um, I have Sunshine Girl. She was sent to me. Um, she's right there. I need to vacuum. Please excuse the floor. Um, and then up there, this looks like a disaster because I have not done very well completing those lines at all. And then that space, I would probably actually put more OMGs up there. Um, not these two. And then I would move these two up here because this area is kind of blank right now. So I'm thinking like, this is actually, this is my first delicious, but I have two of her. So I would put this one up there. It's my second Miss Royale. That was the one that Angel Loza styled for me. And I love her. Um, and then Swag will go here once I unbox her with the other Fierce Dolls. Um, might move the Fierce Dolls up. I want them to be reachable, honestly, but, um, I mean, that's not terrible or anything. And they're very flashy and the Cleopatra box is really cool. So I want to display it with them. Um, but yeah, we've done good here. I really like this. Um, it's interesting. I didn't expect that these sections were shorter than these. Um, so I can actually fit three OMGs on these. Oh, and I'm missing a lot from series. Series two, I only have two from that one. I have all of series three. Um, and then series four, I guess, is technically these, right? Or the Opposites Club. I don't know. But anyway, and then I put winter dolls here, winter disco, and then I mean, I don't know how to explain my rationale here, but these all came out when I started collecting, so it's like, it fits with them, I think. Um, and then she is also from Winterline. She's the only one I have from Winter Chill because they just were not in stores near me for some reason. Um, I saw them a couple times and I didn't end up getting them, so. <laughs> but I love her. I had to get her. I think I ordered her online because she's Doja Cat, so. Anyway, that's the OMG area. I'm really glad that this is starting to get flushed out. Yay! So we just left the neighbor's house. They're moving and they gave us the shelf. Well, we bought it from them, but for like 20 bucks. What? <laughs> um, so I'm going to set this up. Problem is that it's shorter. So I wanted to give this one to the American Girl Dolls because I knew it was a different model at least. And, but as you can see, I am not going to be able to give it to the American Girl Dolls because it's a height issue, right? Because I was already, sorry, I stepped on some bubble wrap. I was already having issues with these because they're all like, like that. So I'm <laughs> losing this much space is a lot. Um, so I guess I'll just put it I just really don't like that it's not going to match, but maybe I'll put the two that match, because I have two more of these, um, here, and then this one on, like, this wall or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Also, excuse the mess. There's, like, a lot going on in my life right now. <laughs> um, like, I'm just rearranging everything constantly, but we're working on it. We will get there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the update in here for now. I want to build those other shelves, but I have to deal with the crisis first, so. Woohoo! cleaned this room up a lot so I could have space to build the shelf so much easier when I actually have space to do it I think I included a time lapse in the last video where I started the pony room um and I, it was really hard because I didn't have enough space but here I had the diagonal so it was actually pretty easy to do the problematic piece which is um you have to slide yeah that's what I was doing there but looked pretty easy here and then these are the jeans that I've worn painting before that by the way that's why they're kind of a disaster anyway that's the shelf. Friends, another shelf is up, so now I'm going to try to put as much of G3 up here as I can. The caveat being that I have absolutely no idea where the G4s are still, and there's probably a lot of G3s missing. Um, they're probably in with the G4s. I don't know. Um, G1 still looks like this. So I needed to start the washing project. Probably going to start that tonight, maybe. Depends. I don't know. Um, we were working on like the non-doll parts of the house a lot today, too. Um, also, that fell, if I didn't already say that. I don't know when, but it fell, which is good though, because I had it up crooked. Um, and now, I mean, look, it took paint, this sucks. Um, but I can put it up straight because the shelf is here. Like you can see that's very crooked, but yeah. I'm bummed that it took paint though, because I'm pretty sure I accidentally left the leftover paint from this dry, but I don't know. This is looking good. Still annoyed about the shelf because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna have to move all these boxes so that I can put these shelves here. But like, where am I gonna put these boxes? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this looks very nice. I'm very happy with this, yay. <laughs> All right, um, pony time? Special thank you to Brett is in order for lending me his phone so that I could use strawberryreef.com to check the release order of the ponies. Um, I mostly did the main releases, so the like side releases and play sets and stuff mostly are not on display so if you're seeing missing pieces and then you see them later on the floor that's what's going on with that um but i'm very happy with this All right, so as suspected a bunch of my g3s are currently missing i will find them i'm not worried about it um so it's mostly just the first year of them which is kind of weird so year of celebration friendship ball butterfly island that's like the unicorn year and then the theming gets less solid after that so 
Um, I'm sorting by year, of course. In G3, it actually makes more sense to sort by year than, say, G1. Because in G1, so soft ponies are very specific, right? Like, they don't really go with other things, even though they were released multiple years. So I don't like to display them with their year, necessarily. So I kind of sorted by when the ponies came out here, but not really. Um, because if there were more twice as fancy ponies, I would just lump them together. But with G3... Um, this is really cool because they actually had specific themes per year. So, like, Year of Celebration is the first year, so they're, like, celebrating the new gen, which is adorable. That actually makes me tear up to think about. Also, the vast majority of these ponies are my childhood ponies, so this is, like, so exciting to have them on display. Um, they are a disaster, though. Like, I don't understand what happened here. She wasn't like this before, so I'm really worried. Hopefully that scuff comes off. Um, Friendship Ball. I mean, not a super solid theme here, but, like, there's a specific color story to it. And then Butterfly Island is probably my favorite year because the color story here is so strong. And then, I don't remember the name of this year, but this is the, like, unicorn year, and it's a bit shorter. I might pop the shelf down a little bit more so I can fit more here. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of ponies left over. So these are either playset ponies or special release or bonus ponies, or they go to year one, and um, I just didn't put them up because I couldn't find the rest. Um... And it looks like I'm going to be able to fit them. Oh, I'm putting seasonal ponies up there because they don't really ascribe to the year rule. Um, so there's some of those down here. Um, and I might, like, for certain unicorns, for example, like this one. This one probably goes to the year after the unicorn year, but I'll probably put her up with the unicorns. This is our, like, G3 Mimic. I really like this one. Although Mimic is green, so I don't know. But the cute parrot cutie mark. Um, but yeah, I just... Is this a birthstone pony? I don't remember this one. Um, this is a thrift store one. So, like, I can pretty easily tell which ones are from my childhood and which ones aren't, which is kind of fun, because I loved my My Little Ponies so much. And my mom did, like, my parents were, like, helping me collect them all, because when, even when I was a kid, I was into collecting stuff. Um, and it's so funny to look at, actually, because when you go on certain years, I have every single pony that was released at a store that you could get in Texas. Like, it was so cool. So, there's certain years, like these two specifically, where I have almost every single pony, unless it's, like, a double of a pony I already have, but, um, sometimes, like, they'll release the same pony in two poses. Somehow my parents knew, like, oh, she already has that pony, she already has Sunny Days, you don't need to get the second pose of Sunny Days. I don't know, I don't know how they coordinated that, it's really cool. Um, I did find, and I actually have it, um, my Hamtaros, which I'm hoping to put up, I found a list that my parents were making of Hamtaros, like, that I didn't already have, so it's, like, really cute. Um, well, I don't know which parent did it. I doubt they were doing it together, but whatever. It's so cool. Um, so I appreciate that a lot now as a collector that I have, like, a really beefy, complete collection going on here. It's really fun. Look at here. Doesn't that kind of look like a dude? That's kind of creepy. It's just the way her hair is laying. I'm gonna move that. It's freaking me out. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's going good. I think I'll be able to fit my G1 and G3 collections up. G3 probably won't have a lot of room for growth. Oh, the one standing in the middle, by the way, I'm going to put risers there. Um, they just won't fit those risers. I could probably cut the risers in half, but um, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. I could probably just move the shelves. So, because, like, for example, I think G3 could actually get away with being popped up, being popped down one. Like, genuinely, they could get away with that. But I like the, how consistent this looks. But I might change my mind because uh, that would free up a lot of space for those guys. And then also G G4 is probably going to have tighter shelves because they don't need all the space. Because, for example, there's, like, for some reason, Sky Wishes is out. Um, I don't know why she's here. But I don't know why she was in this area. But as you can see, there's a lot of space above her head. So that would just be wasted space. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I do worry right now about the playsets because I have a lot of G3 playsets, um, and I'd like to display them. It's not really, like, 100% required, but it would be really fun. So, yeah, we'll see. It's more of a priority than anything, though, that I get, like, my other toys on display that go in this room, like Hamtaro and stuff. So, um, that's probably what the, the shelf is going to be for, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's extra room on this pony wall, though, too, because... There's going to be another shelf, but then there's still extra space over there, so I could probably figure something out for that area. But I'm really happy with this. This is so cool to finally have them all on display. Ooh, actually, you know what I would do? Excuse this, but this type of table, maybe I could put that in the corner, and then I could put my G3 placemat down. But then the G3 placemats are separated from the G3s themselves, which is kind of annoying. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. Nothing's permanent here. It's it's for fun. But yeah. Really happy about this. Yay. Pets rug has officially been rolled out, so the Neo Pets have to go on display. Um, Legos over here. I think she thinks she can make that jump. Yeah, I think again. 
Um, Littles Pet Shops will be here. I'm gonna display a couple of play sets that I can, but like, I'd rather just have the pets laid out on these risers. I think that'll be a lot cleaner looking. Um, but I'm not sure how many pets I can fit. That's the fixed shelf, so that's why that's there. But maybe I can, I can concede and get rid of that if I need to. But that's what this is looking like. It's pretty cool. Hi, princess. Um, I found the Lowe's Pet Shop play sets, which is cool. I know where the pet shops are, but they're like at the bottom of a stack like this. So that's great. Um, so I moved some boxes from this area. I need to move the rest so I can put another shelf here. I'm covering the window. I do not care. I don't want windows in this room. So. Hi. Brett's office has windows anyway, if it comes to that. And the bathroom has a window too. Um... But yeah, this is how we are. So G4 and any overflow will go on the next shelf. And then we still have room for another shelf on this wall, which I was not really expecting for some reason. I guess because the boxes were here and obscuring my line of sight. She's really, oh, this was from the neighbor's house and they have a dog. I did wipe it down, but didn't wipe down that bag, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's how this is going. So play sets, I'm just going to like put up there. I don't think it's that serious. I can still like bring them down and play with them or take pictures of them if I want to. Um, and I have G1 play sets in box, which is gonna be pretty cool on display. And look, I can fit the holiday ponies like this up here. So that's cool. Um, and then I have some like, I have a Comic-Con pony, which is really cool. I found her at a thrift store, where'd she go? Um, yeah, I think this is a Comic-Con pony. Yeah, how cool is that? She's not in good condition because I, I found her at a thrift store in Texas. Like how weird is that? Um, but like she would go up here, right? But she she'll look weird with the other ones up there. So I don't really know, but we'll see. We'll figure something out. So those are the G3s that aren't currently on display, and then in the G1s. I don't like that they're just on the floor, but they'll get put up eventually. So we're gonna put up the next shelf, and I don't know where the G4s are at all. I was hoping to unpack more boxes today, but I mean I will, but it won't be on this video. So we're gonna put up the next shelf, get the risers on it, and. Then I'll work on Rainbow High a little bit, and then we'll call it a night. All right, so I decided I don't have to be able to open this door all the way, because, I mean, that's more than plenty. And the reason that became a concern is because this shelf just barely was too wide to fit, so cool. And I could, like, scooch things to the right a little more, but it was hard and I gave up, <laughs> is the honest answer. Uh, so this is going to be Pony and Little's Pet Shops, which is perfect, because that's all Hasbro and all really colorful and fun. And then um, can also fit other things in as needed here, but this is great. So Equestria Girls will finally go on display. I have to, I already like stored those away because I didn't think the pony room was gonna be done anytime soon. So I have to go, I have to go get those. <laughs> and then this wall is ready for some shelves. Yay. Um, and then for storage, I'm, okay, so these are, seems before I moved, I actually took the initiative here. I mean, some stuff isn't actually organized, but a lot of it is. I actually fixed... Oh, you can see Signature Operetta's ring. You see that? <laughs> That's how reasonably responsible I was as a kid. It's pretty cool. I'm missing one of these earrings, actually. <laughs> and I guess I put... Yeah, see, there's one of the earrings for the fashion pack. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So I will... <laughs> So I want to put the Alex drawers that I bought. <laughs> Look at this. Um, I bought Alex drawers and I don't really know where I'm going to put them, but they're for storing doll stuff, like this kind of stuff in there so that I can access it. Although I don't really access Monster High accessories too often, so I don't know if they need to be in something like that or if they can stay in something like this and be fine. Did I tape this because the lid to the pen was coming off? I wonder. I don't know. Um, anyway. But I'm going to keep these kind of just floating in the middle of this room here, so... Because it's doll accessories, and that's what the Alex store system is for. Um, which is in the living room right now, because I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put it. Oh, and then American Girl, they fell. <laughs> Kaylee just fell, but they're going to be here. Yay! Still haven't found the other American Girls. Found some more little pet shop, like, furniture stuff, which is cool. So that'll go... I mean, it's probably not going to go up there, because am I going to display with it? I don't know. Some of it may be. Um, but cool. It's good to know where it is. Sorry, I, like, dropped my phone a little bit. And then Little's Pet Shop shouldn't need to overflow, but if it does need to, I can put it over here. And the different height of the shelf isn't offending me too much. Like, it's not a big deal. Because um, one of these wider shelves would not have fit. So I'm very happy with this. And then I, again, I have this whole wall. I don't know if I should do bookcases or do my little ledge shelves here, but 
the stuff that I would want to display here are like plushies and stuff so these bookcases would be the better option but then we're going to be cutting off part of this unless we have like an awkward space I don't know we'll figure something out but yeah this room's finally coming together finally <laughs> um oh and I can make extra space because I'm starting to really figure out the space in the doll room so Precure is going to be these two shelves and I'm not going to budge on that. I mean, oh, well, and the bottom one for the plushies. Um, but these guys can leave and go back into the other room. They're in here right now. Well, Balala will stay probably. But all the other ones, I moved them in here because they were like Magical Girl-esque. Oh, and Shira, I have vintage Shira, so I wanted these in here. Um, but I feel like they'll display weird next to each other. Oh, and I want to move the shimmers in here. They're actually not on display yet, but I want the shimmers in here because that's, I don't really have a lot of 80s stuff other than ponies and things of that nature so um the shimmers would probably fit better in here but if i can't find a good spot for them then i will put them in the doll room because um i'm not budging on that display that is a very important display to me i love those they're like my holiest grails for a long time so i'm really happy to have them um yeah that's how it's going Get, grab my water and then we're gonna move on and work on rainbow high which i'm very excited about because i finally got the shelves i need I didn't have the right screws for this, but I wasn't going to give up. I really wanted to do it tonight, so this took alarmingly longer than it should have. Um, and this height that I used is just because of that shadow height display, but it ended up being almost the perfect height. Um, I'm really bummed because if it had been just a little bit shorter, I could actually stack two dolls on top of each other at the top shelf. But it's fine because I can put Rainbow Junior High up there. And since Rainbow Junior High is like fully continuing and we're like gonna get Kaya and the twins and stuff, I'll want more inbox, so it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm so thrilled about this new inbox display. Like, I love this, I wanted this so bad. And then I'm just gonna put like different little dolls in the holes that get produced. All right, y'all, so this is what Rainbow High is looking like. I got carried away a bit off camera. So I put some acrylic risers. You can't really see the back of the chair display anymore, but I don't really care that much about that. Um, I might pop these up even higher. Um, and then pop these up as well, and then display cheer up front, but it just depends on how much space I need, but I love this. This just looks like a really fabulous Christmas, right? Like, <laughs> um, I wish it was a bit more balanced. Um, if I get more Junior High Dolls new in box, that will balance it out. Um, I don't really know. I'm not planning ever to have, like, a complete new in box collection, but if I just end up with doubles in box, then why not? And then these are ones that will be unboxed, because I already have one in box for some of them, and then other ones it's, like their boxes were destroyed so yeah and then the ones that aren't in this display yet are getting their own so well that's she's an exception because that's the jet dawson crystal um oh and then these too big they don't fit uh they would fit here but i don't want to block the display um i'm not really sure who's gonna go up front of the display probably like doubles or something or i can do series one through however long it goes because i can even put them on risers i don't know yet we'll see and then these are my series one dolls in box i would like to display them like this but then from far away we're blocking the display it is still cool looking um and that would require me to complete my series one inbox collection and my shadow high one which i only have one inbox so far um it wouldn't require it but you know like i'm missing poopy and skylar who i had in box but i unboxed them <laughs> so that's fun i don't really know i just really like how that looks and so far i mean this area i'm really really loving it this just looks so cool um so that's where this video is gonna end off because i'm out of time in fact if this video goes up after midnight today i'm sorry um i've been very busy today and i'm really enjoying this i love that um kaya my favorite gets to be like the centerpiece there she looks so cute um and then we have like Series 4. Series 3 got a bit separated. I might move pop Series 4 up. I don't know, because Coco's there. I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. It's just kind of some new inbox dolls that I have. And it all looks glorious. Oh, uh, Amaya. I got her on Amazon for, like, very cheap on Black Friday in, like, 2021. Um, but she has this. But at least it's covered. And, yeah. Oh, she has a crack in her box, too. But um, I don't want to unbox her yet. Um... That's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.